Okay, here we go. So this is uh, group one. So uh, let me turn off some of these layers. You can see. So start with just a canvas, like a film shot, some background. Lay in a very basic design. Lay in some background. Right, thinking about composition, how will we show off this building? And just keep them quick. These are for yourself. See, that's why normally I, I haven't shown these to to you guys on anywhere because these are practice things. Right, some fog, light it up. You know, add some last minute detail, and that's it. So this is a very low resolution painting. But it teaches you about composition, it teaches you about scale, uh, about shot design, lighting, uh, contrast, uh, these type of things. And do many as you can, you know, do hundreds of these kind of little tiny paintings. This one is which one? Um, this one. All right, so you can see all these start with just a background plate, kind of some kind of gradient on this one. Lay in a very rough, you know, alien ship crash looking thing. Some details, some additional things in fog highlight some color tint and that's it you know very quick so you can move from one to another here's this kind of Blade Runner ish uh, city scene so I turn these layers on and off you can see they all start the same just background boom 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 knock it in and you end up with something like that so that's practicing that and then from there we can extract something like this <clears throat> which is if you're not good at design yet you could always draw something that's sort of grounded to this world, even though this is all made up. I showed the layers as well. And if you're not good at colors, then you could just practice purely in black and white. So this painting, again, start with nothing. That's the brush I used. This is actually became a Photoshop brush. I just kind of left it in there. Um, turn that off now. Gradient. Start with a very simple landscape. You can see with the haunted house. I want, I want to create a kind of Tim Burton-ish, kind of creepy um, haunted mansion type of thing. So I kind of just indicated that. Right. Actually, I did the first trees, which is these, and at this point, it looks terrible. You know, it looks pretty bad. But in my mind, I, I kind of know what I'm going for here. So I'm doing the first layer of trees, then we do the second layer of trees, then the third layer, which is made by that brush, by the way. So you can see all these um, little branches in here. That's from that's from this brush right here. Okay, turn these on. All right, and right away we start having a forest uh, environment start to take place, and then the rest is just. Uh, adding more compositional elements and details, more brushes, and this also required some research. For example, the house. This is the version I put in, and this is a good way to teach yourself to do research. Don't just draw everything from your own, like the ants, the airplanes. Understand the world. The more you understand how things work, the better your work will become, because your designs will somehow have a real-world relationship to to you know our planet Earth. So when your audience look at it, even though it doesn't exist uh, in the world that you're creating, so there's something about it that makes it more believable. So how do you start with that? Well, you start with just drawing things that already exists. So here's my indicated building. And what I did is I, I, I did some research on Victorian houses and I kind of fixed it up so it has a Victorian feel. Right? So similar in shape, it didn't, I, did not I did not destroy the original shape, but I just corrected the architecture to match what I needed to do. Right, so because I, I, I don't want to make a random house that's not uh, correct, yeah, and then adjust to some lighting. Uh, Photoshop uh, catches up here. Turn on these layers, and then that's the final result here. Let's go full screen, yeah, which is a very quick painting. Uh, and again, these are very quick. I usually do four to five of these uh, for for our students in the morning, just purely as a demo. So they go very very quick. Uh, because the point of keeping it quick is to practice. You don't want to uh, slave over one painting over another over another and keep going. Okay, uh, and then all that stuff then leads to a design. So when we design, I'm showing you this here. This is a typical design board that I like to do for myself. So here you've seen a um, uh, uh, what do you call these things? Um, floating, you know, the airship type stuff. I'm trying to combine architecture with this. So this is some very simple notes that I made for myself. To how do you do that? You know, how do you combine these kind of things? So make some notes. So we're going to design a entertainment architecture, a whole new way for a building to function. So this is the idea for a nightclub that is on a um, airship that you could board. So for example, it's it's called Club 24, right? And uh, you, you board it in Los Angeles. And as soon as you board, it'll take off. And within the two, three hour flight, 
it will land in Las Vegas, and this entire airship could be uh, owned by, for example, Sands or uh, one of those major casino owners. And so the experience starts at the doorstep, right? As soon as you leave, because uh, if you ever lived in LA, you ever go to Vegas, that drive is very boring, and you can actually lose the the uh, momentum of going to such places by having this. You control your flow. That's what the design of this is for. And you can see all the kind of nodes you made. Is it a building? Is it grounded? Is it ocean? Is it sky? Is it underneath the water? Is it a nightclub? What does nightclub lead to? How do you transport? Is it engines? Is it balloons? Is it airship? Check. Right? These are kind of simple nodes you do. So then you start arriving at a design. Uh, uh, direction, so it's not so random, right? So you can see here the club is in the middle, surrounded by two airships. Uh, got some uh, tails to control that. Okay, so this is a typical design board, and these are kind of things uh, I'm showing you here <coughs> that make up a very good early stages for you guys to practice on. You know, draw. You know, let's just go through these really quick, right? Draw things that exist, but draw from a 3D point of view. Paint stuff that sort of exists. Right? Well, in this case, they do exist, but using value only. So this is line work. This is value understand things like animals and uh, you know bi biology type of things from a scientific point of view, so not just simply draw them, but draw them with understanding. So you can see here, yeah, same with this one. <coughs> and then understand shot design. This is important, especially going to films or cinematography that, uh, related projects, right? Understand your shots. Here's another one. Practice in color, practice in black and white. And then finally, do some notes for yourself before you start with any design and by combining uh, all these things together, right? These are not portfolio things. These are all things for yourself. By combining all of them, you start to have a very good understanding of how the world works. And you could then render any subject matter the way you like to do. There's no more dependency on photographs, right? And eventually, uh, let me show you guys, for example, a um, very large painting, right? Let me close some of these because I'm about to open a very, very big file here. These are all PSD files. Let me close them all. Character design stuff. Here, let me just press Control W faster. That you'll lead to doing these kind of designs, which is very complex. Maybe one day I'll do a design cinema on this. This is a 10,000 pixel uh, painting, so it's very, very high resolution. You can see I can zoom in to. This is this is hundred percent here, so it's a very 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 big painting. But to do this kind of painting, it requires a lot of research. It requires understanding. It requires a lot of different things that all the other subject matter we talked about earlier uh, is trying to prepare you for. So you know, before we get to doing complex paintings such as these, uh, which has, for example, research of lab material, research of machinery and lighting, and how to get that kind of uh, Frankenstein effect, and you know, even how wires are hung. For example, maybe the first wire is hung here to here. But before you reach all of this, you gotta practice, understand the world. So there's a certain belief in your drawing and then at the same time it's also entertaining so hopefully this design cinema help you some of your uh, junior guys understand it but if you guys have questions go ahead and ask it in the uh, YouTube channel tell your friends about these kind of things again subscribe so it's easy for uh, for you to keep up to date to what we're doing here and um, yeah so next week I'm actually gonna cover portfolio stuff I think this week let's just stop it here because there's a lot of uh, subject we just covered um, so next week we'll go over um, portfolio and we'll probably shoot that on video as well so we can actually show you some examples of uh, uh, real-world portfolios that I get uh, as well as our students uh, for example so anyways uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, have a good uh, weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. All right, bye-bye.